Airbus Türkiye'de hem sivil hem savunma sanayi konusunda uzun yıllardır yer alıyor ve gelişmeleri Airbus'un Türkiye müdürü Simon Wert ile beraber konuşacağız. I want to begin my question. Uh, this is uh, how many times did you join to the IDEF exhibition? Uh, I think this is my fourth or fifth IDEF, but this is definitely my hottest IDEF. Turkey is very hot at the moment, so the exhibition is also very hot because we have got many interviews, you have got many connections. Uh, I want to start my question. In last weeks, you have got a cooperation with Turkish Aerospace Industries for Section 18 and 19. Yep. What do you think about it? So, what will this agreement and production will get to such to the future? So, this is something we've been working for for about 10 or 15 years. So, it's not been an easy process. It's been a steady growth, and we've taken them. We've taken TUSAS from making small assemblies to very big assemblies to joined up fuselage on the aircraft and at 50% of the total rate of a single aisle aircraft. So we're now delivering something like, I think 45 or just under 50 a month aircraft, and it, we're targeted to get to 70. So you can see the huge growth potential for Tushash on just that one program. Then I will turn to the defense industry. Yep. Uh, Turkey is a good partner for Airbus 400A400M for retrofit program. Yep. What is the latest situation of uh, the retrofit program in Kayseri? Okay, the retrofit program is going extremely well. As always, Kayseri outshines our other supply chain. So we're very proud of Kayseri. We're very proud of the relationship we have with both the Turkish Air Force and also Asfat. We have a really, really good cooperation. I cannot tell you how well the, those guys work together. Turkey has got any chance to get any foreign customers to bring the A400M to Turkey make a retrofit? It's something that we're all, all trying to discuss and trying to bring, but clearly it's not easy for a foreign nation necessarily to bring their aircraft into Turkey. I mean, there's, there's issues with uh, the actual systems on board. They're not always the same. And there's also political issues that, that make it quite a difficult thing to do. But we're hopeful. Fingers crossed. Inshallah. Uh, my other question will be about the future tanker project of Turkish Air Force. Yep. Uh, Airbus is offering Airbus 330 MRTT. Yep. So, uh, especially my uh, watchers, my readers are asking me questions about it. Can Turkish Airlines X some, maybe in the future, some X Airbus uh, 330 200s can convert to the tanker or what do you think about it? Yeah, I mean, we're talking with the Turkish Air Force now and, and the Ministry of Defense about what is the best option. Do we convert some old aircraft? Do we take new aircraft? And potentially even we take a new, new, new aircraft, which is the A330neo, which would then have to be converted to the tanker. And all the options are open. So we're, we're trying to figure out with the Ministry of Defense and the Air Force now, what is the best solution that suits Turkey in terms of price and in terms of you know life of the aircraft and, and operating cost of the aircraft. So it's quite a complex thing to figure out. So I would say it'll take us another maybe two months to get to an idea of whether we're taking new used or, or, or A330neo aircraft, developing a new MRTT with Turkey as a launch customer. Uh, can, for example, Turkish Airlines Technik or NAD or TUSAŞ can make a conversion of tanker in Turkey? Uh, in to the total conversion probably not because it, it's so expensive to do the the training and have all the tooling for some of the equipment. We're all, always looking at doing the maximum amount of work in Turkey and doing the minimum amount of work uh, in the home countries. So we have to find the balance of cost and, and what what is effective. But yes, there will be definitely some of the tanker done inside Turkey, either Turkish Technic or, or somebody else, Kayseri, or, or somewhere in Turkey. We will definitely do. I think the hottest uh, news are Airbus 400M, maybe a feature uh, order from Turkey, I don't know. Uh, can you say some word about it? Uh, that's a bit of a speculation at the moment. Uh, there, has, there has been some interest played in increasing the fleet, but clearly it depends on budget and how much we can bring the price down. So there has been some discussion, but at this point it's very early conversation. What are the other hottest uh, things for Airbus in Turkey? On the defence side, it's MRTT, A400M, so you've definitely hit those topics. We're also very interested in doing the Cougar upgrade. Turkey has the biggest fleet of uh, Q 
Cougar aircraft in the, in the world. So I'm doing an upgrade for that and bringing it to the, the, the 21st century with taking out the obsolescence, a nice glass cockpit. That's something that's very interesting for us to do with uh, Asselsan and Asfat. And then, of course, is commercial aircraft, which is really, really huge numbers that drowns anything on defense. We are waiting Turkish Airlines order, also Pegasus order, some Airbus 321 Neos. Yeah, I, I'm expecting both. Yeah, and we're working both, talking to both of those people to, to give them the best deal that we can. And I'm sure this year we'll do something with both. Before asking my latest question, I want to say some words in Turkish, Perfect. then turn to you. Perfect. Şimdi e, Simon'la çok güzel bilgiler verdi ama ben kendisinden önce burada Türkçe söylemek istiyorum. Deprem sırasında inanılmaz kendisi çalıştı ve deprem malzemelerinin bölgeye getirilmesinde e, çok çok önemli bir katkı oldu. On the earthquake you have got your personal uh, support to Turkey first of all. Thank you for it. Çok teşekkür ederim. Uh, and uh, we are feeling that Airbus is always with Turkey and helping people in the earthquake area. Thank you again, Simon, Thank for you your great, great, uh, very good and strong support. And there's, there's much more support to come because the earthquake is not over and finished and people's lives are not fixed. So now we have to rebuild this area, bring the communities back together and Airbus will be there, as you will see shortly. Thank you, Simon. Thank you.